Oh, first camera test. Hello. What's going on guys? Big BP back with another Game Case Arcades video. We are finally in the new workshop and obviously we have our first arcade build. This one is gonna be a crazy one. All right guys, you know it's been a long time, but we are finally in the new workshop. We got the new camera rig up. Literally got you on the new boom arm I just invented. And uh, we got our first control panel in, ready for working. Again, this one's gonna be a little bit unique and a little bit crazy on this one. So it's kind of cool with this like arm that I built here. I could actually move you around without like going too crazy and it's actually pretty firm. So I could literally move you guys over. We're gonna do a couple of overhead shots. So just so you can kind of get an idea of how the rig works and all that. So now if you guys remember from the last video, we are still working on the, I can't really say still, I could actually finally work on the control panel. This one came all the way out to California to a customer named Eugene. Um, we did make the video of, they stole my artwork, uh, Game Room Solutions control panel. I'm kind of over that now. Now we just gotta make the control panel correct. Now that we got that little headache in the video there and you can see when I posted that video, now we actually could work on it. I'm fully blowing this one out. Uh, Eugene's gonna be a very unique customer. He sent me this and he has a big, I mean, he's gonna be my first one, I'm very excited. I mean, we're talking about a 40 terabyte hyperspin bar top coming soon for him. It's gonna be crazy. But for right now, let's take a look at the control panel. So no, this won't be the end to selfie mode. I still have obviously my Joby um, Gorilla Pod. We will still go into selfie mode a couple of times, but still just trying to play around with the new setup that I made. Um, basically, real quick backstory on this. Send me this. He has an issue with uh, Game Room Solutions' image. He believes that it's kind of slow. Um, we're gonna play around with that. We're gonna see it, but I'm also giving him my SD card image. But what's gonna be crazy about this one and I even advised him that he doesn't really have to do it, but he did want to do it. But he actually wants to put two arcade systems in one control panel. What does that mean? We're gonna have a Raspberry Pi build, and inside of this, we do have a Pandora's Game 3D going into this. So, one control panel, two arcade sticks, two arcade consoles, we could say, and basically he's not gonna have to switch any wires. We're gonna just put everything into one. Um, basically on the rear of it, we have two HDMI ports, two separate power buttons to turn on each individual system. And obviously both arcade sticks will work with either system. Now to do that, we did make a lot of modifications. I'm gonna take you to the overhead camera on this soon, but basically we had to move things around. I already started before I filmed. So I already did some moves, but now we are up to adding the PCB Pandora's Box 3D on this. I forgot how many games are on this, but I basically decased it so that we could make it fit in the control panel. This actually came with the JAMA harness, not the home edition. I was very surprised with that, but this did come with a JAMA harness setup. We're basically gonna put these wires to the existing arcade buttons and basically the goal at the end of this video is to put up two TVs showing the Pandora's box and the Raspberry Pi and basically showing you that the control sticks will work together with both systems. Real quick to show you guys the camera rig doing this old DIY conduit pipes. We got an electrical outlet box and basically we do have a monopole holding this up. So this again, I'm able to do overhead shots we're able to spin the camera around and all that. Not really slide because it does make noise, but I could do a couple of slide things. Right now, we're gonna put the overhead camera on. Okay, so I never tested the drop down overhead camera, but real quick, we can show you exactly what's going on. Again, I already modified stuff, so basically if I open this up, you're gonna see a couple of things. I'll tilt it so you can see from up top. Uh, we moved around some stuff. Got to do some vacuuming real quick. But again, um, the big thing is that we do have our Raspberry Pi here. And now our Pandora's box is going to fit right here. The original setup was uh, a little wonky. Um, Game Room Solutions had the Zinmo controller here. Right dead in the middle, which is a good spot. But it didn't work for us because 
our Pandora's box board. Um, I did try to put it this way, right here in this pocket, which it did fit, but our HDMI cable is here. It wasn't enough room, so we had to move that. Um, his power plug was over here. Now we basically put it dead center. So now these are the only two tall pieces on the outlet. So this could drop down, no issue. It is perfectly set where it needs to be. It doesn't interact or interfere with the Zinmo. I will be stapling these to make sure it's nice and neat. But basically our Zinmo is out of the way. We put our Zinmo underneath player two. Our Pi is here. These wires, I do have to clean this up. And the last thing again that we did, let me tuck this away before we break it, is that we put two basically power supplies here. This one's gotta go in right now. Um, I do have my plug here for that. So these are LED power button switches. These are not momentary. I made that mistake. You need the ones that do latch um, because it does give power. We do have our two HDMI USB. So this goes to the Pi. The LED on this is red. And this one goes to the Pandora's box. I believe the LED on this is blue. Um, the other thing real quick, really awesome. Uh, a couple of my customers do a a couple of my customers do notice that while you play, sometimes the control panel lifts up. So with a big request and really a big need that he wanted is that we did add two arcade latches. These are real latches for real arcade control panels. And basically now we're gonna latch this down and this literally is not going anywhere. With that latch, not going nowhere. So now we've, we've, we're solving problems. This right here, rock solid again, outlets dead in the middle, no issues, no button issues at all. Everything is working awesome. Again, I just got the Pandora's box in the mail. Um, this took a nightmare. Um, I don't wanna give, you know, I don't wanna talk bad about the company, but it was called Pandora's Toy Box. Uh, for $289, we basically got just the Pandora's box, no power supply. Um, it was shipped. Apparently was in New York. Apparently, I didn't get the tracking, but nobody sent me tracking. But it, it was waiting for me to be picked up. Like I had to go pick it up. I never picked it up because I didn't know it was here. They sent it back to China and then they actually destroyed the box. Uh, finally, it is here. So literally when I made that video uh, of talking about the artwork, I ordered the Pandora's box. So you can see the date of that compared to today and you'll understand how long we waited for this, but it's finally in our hands. We do have an external power brick, which we will be hopefully fitting inside of this control panel. Again, I want everything one big control panel, plug and play. Again, you unlatch the actual arcade clamps to open it. We're gonna vacuum this, get rid of all the dust. Um, this right here, I, I put the screws in to hold this from moving, so this plug does not move. Uh, basically now it's just really cleaning up wires. We're gonna vacuum this. I have actually my whole kind of vacuum setup too that I made and um, we're gonna clean this up. My main objective right now is to at least put the Pandora's box in its place and test it. So now real quick, I didn't really test overhead cam. I, I'm pretty sure you could see everything. But again, people have their ways. Um, I did not touch anything as far as like wiring here because it was good. Um, but just like, you know, this was here. This is the uh, power going to the LEDs. That's what one of the bricks are for. I'm gonna actually take this off and I actually bought heat shrink tubing to make this kind of clean. I put these switches in, but I'm taking out these wire nuts. It's just really for test mode. And I'm gonna be heat shrinking a lot of stuff. A lot of stapling to be done. As you can see, like, you know, this is a arcade ground. So it looks like it was like, you know, electrical taped and then covered, which I respect the covering of that. Um, but you know, you could kind of see how people do it. I actually electrical tape these together for player two, player one, just to get it out of the way and to clean it up a little bit. But again, as of right now, we finally have the Pandora's box in our hands and it's gonna go in this orientation as is. Luckily with the jam board, you could literally fold up these wires with no issues. And again, the big thing with this is that I'm going to you know, basically take this micro switch off and basically pull back the plastic here and I'm gonna wrap around this button one and then put back 
the, pla the, the plastic covering, and then clip it back. What's great is that basically the ground, just like as you guys would know with arcades, the grounds, they are daisy chained, but we will not need this ground. All we're gonna do is gonna put one ground, the main ground wire, into one string of the ground. Once ground is connected, all the grounds are connected. So I could really connect this ground anywhere I want. Um, I might tap off into the joystick, or I'm just gonna tap off into the first one. Again, this is a JAMA harness. So this is like a lot, as you can see here, there is a lot. But luckily, with the way I'm gonna be doing this, I do not need all of this. So it's gonna be basically shortened down and basically long enough to make sure that if anybody ever needs to lift it open, there will be enough wiring to lift it open. One little upset right now is that this Pandora's box came with zero instructions. None, no breakout, no wire breakout. Our JAMA harness is in Chinese. I could at least notice my power, but this is really if you were doing an actual arcade power supply, meaning the big brick. Um, basically, we did get an external power supply for this build, and we are praying, and I'm praying, that this brick will fit somewhere. But I'm pretty sure I can make it happen. Um, that's going to be a little bit of a, my next challenge, really. Luckily, he, luckily, Game Room Solutions gives you a three output outlet, so our power and doors box plug will go right in its place. So quick update guys, so we're again fixing up the wiring right now, so kind of emptied it out. Basically, my adapter fits perfectly, literally in this space. Power adapter fits perfectly in this place, so if I drop the control panel, we are not resting on anything, and we are good to go. In that case, yes, you can see it, we're all definitely good to go. Zinmo will go last, and I'll make sure that we don't bend anything on that. All right guys, quick update on this Pandora's box. Uh, I'm just having bad luck with these jammers lately. I, I don't know what it is, but contacted the company. They wanted me to do a couple of tests. Real quick, basically, we have our power supply. 12 volts, five amps. They believe I might be overpowering it. They require 12 volts, three amps. So I already ordered a new power supply coming in hopefully tomorrow, but check it out real quick. I'm gonna show you like a screen, the screen. But real quick, you see this is booting up, the fans and everything. I did have to decase it. Basically, I took the plastic out um, to make it fit. This does not interact with the fan. But real quick, after 30 seconds, this thing basically resets. Keep your eye right here. Boom. It just reset it again. I will bring you down to see the screen. They wanted me to do, instead of HDMI, they wanted me to do VGA. Luckily, I have a monitor that does VGA. Same thing. I'm having an issue. This Pandora's box keeps resetting. You'll see it happen right about now. Boom, right there. So we have one issue right now, which is the Pandora's box. Give me the biggest headache, but at least for right now, I'll give you a quick rundown. The, the, um, the Raspberry Pi from Game Room Solutions, I'm not gonna talk too much about the image, but I'm not a fan of it. A lot of people are messaging me about the bezels. They don't like the bezels, they wanna take it out. I gotta do my research as far as this one here, but basically, this customer's Pi, oh wow, this now booted. My Pandora's box now booted. But still, if I literally unplug it, and again, my customer's gonna get this in California, and this can't have any issues. This has to be flawless, so I can't have this one every four reboots, it's gonna, it's gonna work. Um, but real quick again, with the Pandora's, uh, with the Raspberry Pi, we have stock right now, um, Game Room Solutions image here. Basically what I'm doing is that I'm trying to modify his image, not modify it in a way, but the customer wants four player action. So with that, he did give me two Xbox controllers that we're gonna attempt to make connect to the Pi, but also these Xbox controllers are gonna go for his hyperspin build, so these are not wasted. Um, I am trying it on Game Room Solutions image. I've never done it with Xbox One controllers. There is, which I have it too, but it's giving me a headache. There is the option of doing the dongle, basically the dongle into the USB and it should be able to connect to the controller. I tried that yesterday. I couldn't get even power to this. This wouldn't even power up. Um, somebody said that this might not be able to read Linux. I don't know, but now I'm trying to get the Xbox controller 
to basically work off of the Bluetooth, which requires a couple of modules to be installed and all that. But again, just give me an update. I am gonna give Game Room Solutions image back to him and I also flash, he even gave me another SD card. I'm flashing my image on this. It will be a four player and hopefully I'm praying to God I've never tried it, but I am praying that the Xbox controllers will work. As of right now, again, Pandora's box, I'm on this reboot and this does not work. This cannot work. My customer is not gonna get it like this. So contacted Pandora's toy box, I think it's called, toy box game, some shit like that. We're gonna figure that situation out next. So again, I have my little test bench here, right here. And right now I have two of these power supplies here. This works, but now I'm actually getting zero image on this. I'm gonna swap out my other power supply on this. As you can see, it is kind of a mess on my desk right now. The brand new desk is getting messed up, but it just shows that we are putting in work that is needed to be done. So now I powered up another power supply here. See, so check it out. This is the intro. I don't have speakers on this monitor. This is a very old school monitor. Um, but real quick, after like this, now this works. Will it work? Usually I don't get past that basketball screen. Nope, I rebooted. I spoke too soon. Again, as you can see, this just keeps rebooting. Um, I don't know if there's any audio to it, but again, there's another reboot right there. Again, Pandora's box, 3D decased. This is a JAMA harness here. It's actually pretty cool how this is. There's two ways you could power this. You could either put the straight like power wire like I have right now here. You could put it straight into here, but with this control panel, very unique, we actually have two external buttons here um, to power on our system. So basically I have my Pandora's box like here, and then on this side without my ugly hand here, that's the Raspberry Pi. So with this, I could turn this off, LED is off showing that the system is off. And then basically when you do push the button, we have blue light, which means Pandora box is on, which is why I had to use, well, I didn't choose the JAMA harness, but came with it, it actually came in clutch. Basically we have our power wires here going into this switch here and check this out again, 2020, we're gonna do everything clean. I did actually get some heat shrink tubing. So these are actually heat shrink tubed up. I'm cleaning up the wires, that's the last step. I know it's kind of a mess, but basically we have now our power switch that's working with this. It's not interacting or interfering with this actual power supply here, but basically it's just cutting this piece off. Awesome stuff, again, 2020, we gotta keep it clean. But again, right now, Pandora's box is failing me. Taking a close look at the control panel, I mean, again, I'm gonna have to see, well, no. The power adapter, this one I have here, fits perfectly inside this pocket the Zen mode doesn't get crushed or bent, so it does work perfect. The Pi, though, I had to put it this way. Let me put on my shop light. Boom, I should have done that before I started the video, but basically the Pi had to be in this corner face this way because of the USB here. But the SD card is in the back. So for my customer to switch out the SD cards, unfortunately, you are gonna have to hit the two screws that are holding up the pegs. I'd rather make sure it's safe and secure, but I have a big feeling that he's gonna wanna keep my image on it. Um, again, we're gonna try to find out a couple of things with this uh, Game Room Solution one. Not talking bad about it, but somebody's asking me to find out how to turn off the bezels. I gotta do my research on that. But for right now, I'm going to have to wait on this Pandora's box because I wanted to get rid of this spaghetti. But basically now I'm gonna work on the Raspberry Pi until I get a new power supply. All right, guys, so again, I'm trying to do some work on this, but um, New York, we're in quarantine. We can't leave the house, which slowed me down because I'm waiting on an SD card um, to make for my image here. Basically, again, Eugene's going to get my image for at least a Pi, and we're going to keep Game Room Solutions image. He gave me an SD card, uh, 256. He gave me this, but unfortunately, it doesn't work. Um, I think it's because it's a U1 and I do need a U3. That's usually the one I get on um, Amazon. So just want to show you real quick because I have another customer that's basically having an issue with this image and about the um, 
the bezels. But real quick, I mean, again, I don't want to knock anyone, but I really don't care anymore because, again, I, I am a, a person that always uses game room solutions. But this image, um, the beginning of this shoots, is, it says Virtual Man. So I think it's Virtual Man's image. You can find this on um, Arcade Punks. I don't know if it's anything special, if it's modified, but this image is just god awful. Uh, I, I mean, I don't like it. For some reason, it, it, I, I don't know if it's me, but like, none of this is in alphabetical order. I mean, if you look at the names here, this is not in alphabetical order. So I was looking, try, I was literally trying to find Metal Slug. Uh, because there is a thing that I found and I was gonna make a video on it on how to turn the blood on on Metal Slug I know it could work with the PC and I want to see if it works for The Pi but as you can see right now like I don't I mean it's under fighter But like we're under N N N A M Y like I don't understand what what's the purpose of this is, is there's no um It's just not an order it's not in any order whatsoever. I mean, I'm literally trying to find, and I do see here, you got your, I don't know, you, this is just like an, I, I go to all, and I'm trying to find literally Metal Slug. So as you can see here, like it goes H, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, L, O, I'm gonna be Q, R, S, C, like I'm, it, the, it doesn't make sense. It goes to D and then U? I don't, maybe it's looking at the left. I don't know. I, I literally, I, I don't know. This is the most annoying thing. I'm literally trying to find Metal Slug. And I, I, I couldn't find it. Like, I could not find it. I could hold this down for days, which is luckily, I, I mean, I could program this because this is a track mode. So you could either tab and then I might as well do that real quick, actually. You go to controls and I'm going to program basically my next letter. This is just god awful. Next letter is button four. Uh, zero, one, two, three, four. And button one? Okay, let me just add another. I'm just going to add a keyboard input on this. And I'm just going to put, I don't know, the letter P. So the letter P will be next letter. So if I tab out, exit out, right? If I press the letter P, E, F, G, F, B, F, G, C. This doesn't make sense. It, 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 I, I'm so annoyed by this. <laughs> I'm trying to find out for the customer how to disable these bezels. So the loading screen on this is god awful. I mean, I respect it. It's cool. Like, yeah. But like, this just sits a little. Still sitting. Let's see. Does this load up a bezel? I mean, I don't, I don't know what it is. I, again, I don't, I don't really care anymore, but, um, you know, literally my control panel. So that's why I'm saying I really don't care anymore, but now we're stuck. Nope. Okay. You got this bezel. Bezel is not stretched. I don't know. I don't want, we don't want left bezel. So if I literally, look, I can't even tab. Usually with MAME, I should be able to tab. I can't do anything. I'm going to try to push every button here. Oh, F1? No. F4? No. Usually, again, tab on this would bring up our main menu. Um, if I press menu on this, I got nothing. I could I could move the joysticks I guess I mean I'm playing but this is just God mode menu nothing I can't get anything mode menu mode exit mode exit works look at this then you get this back screen this just hangs like I just want to play oh man I feel really bad because the customer on Facebook he's not even my customer he literally messaged me on Facebook and I suggested this and he's been having a headache I mean I I feel bad because I suggested it. But this awful, this, this image is just god awful. I want to play Metal Slug. And what I found out was that this 
if I press exit, that's the back. He's got this is back. So everything here is used to go advanced. These are just like changing up and down. It's like oh, anyway, Metal Slug apparently is where is it? It's under Arcade Neo Geo. Which I understand. Yes, I personally no, actually it's not. This is NSK, so it's SNK Neo Geo MVS. This does not have Metal Slug. Metal Slug apparently is under like a console. Me, as a person that works with arcades, I know Neo Geo equals Metal Slug. No, there's no Metal Slug. Nothing at all. Is it in alphabetical order? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is in alphabetical order. But now, Metal Slug is actually under, I'm gonna exit, you have to go to consoles apparently, which yes, I understand it really is a console. Um, SNK Neo Geo. If I press play on this, I'm gonna find Metal Slug here. But like, most people don't know that. <laughs> like, there it is, look at all the Metal Slugs. So we're here. I tried to play this. Loading. You got this loading screen. It's a slow fade. Then you got this loading screen. Again, I believe this is Virtual Man. It, it literally boots up with Virtual Man. Um, it's just normally like I could be able to tab on MAME. But look, see, I mean, he's he's kind of upset that like it's it's some of the games are stretched. They are stretched to full screen. Um, no, I can't do anything. He's got like F5 set to coin. I don't know. It's, it's mind boggling. This right now is literally mind boggling. <gasps> yeah, this is just, I, I don't know what to tell you. You got a mode exit. I'm not a fan. Look, now we got again this, this slow fade out. Just exit out. I wanted to do this as one solid video, but this is gonna have to be a part two because I'm waiting for my SD card. Again, this SD card, it, it doesn't boot. I'm gonna reflash the image, but my this SD card that he gave me, it doesn't boot, unfortunately. I did notice that again, it is U1. Usually I do need U3. Uh, Pandora's box is on hold. The, customer, uh, the company for Pandora's box messaged me, said, try this power supply and try to connect via VGA. I did VGA, it still reboots. This right now is uh, kicking my butt. I'm a little upset because I, I feel bad for the customer. He's not getting his control panel, especially in this uh, situation with this virus that we have. But right now I am at a standstill. Stay tuned for the next one because hopefully on the next one, we get everything up and running for him. Vic VP, Game Case Arcade.